Hey there, friends, and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White, and today, today of days, we'll be playing through some more The Last of Us Part 2. Please take a second before you begin, if you'd like, to like the video. And I'm going to give a shout out to our patron of the day. This is a big one, Joseph. Joseph, thank you so much for your amazing support on Patreon. You help so much, more than you know. Every contribution goes back into creating high quality content, more content, better content, content that gets to you faster, all of the above, as well as some amazing community events that we're hosting like SRG Con and the Games Biathlon that we recently did. And we have some amazing stuff planned through the rest of the year and going forward even beyond that. So all of Patreon helps with that. And Joseph, thank you for your part in that. And now everyone, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. Do you know the code? That note I found has a bunch of them. But we need to get power to the gate first. Okay, not sure if I can get in there. It seemed like for a minute maybe I could because you can see that there's something going on there, but mm, that's all right. We'll be okay. But what we will do is take Horsey, Shimmer, we're, hello, Shimmer. We're gonna get on you. What? I guess we're not. Because there's this area over here that needs to be explored, but I guess we're not gonna get to do that just yet. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Needs gas. Uh, it's out of gas. God damn it. Well, what do we do now? We need gas. Oh, shit. The note. What? The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. Courthouse garage and the dome. So what's the plan for finding these places? I have a map! We ride around and see what we see. Oh, I'm gonna get lost if Tommy we do came that. Here? But he did. Looks like a dome to me. All right, we're jumping. No, we're, we're jumping so, slowly. Where are we? Oh, interesting. Pretty sure we're here. Ah, uh, nice. I'll mark it up as we go. So it seems like what we're getting here is a little taste of an open world area. Even though the whole world itself isn't open, they did this a little bit in Lost Legacy as well where for the most part the story was very linear, but there were periods of the game where you could kind of explore at your at your decided way. Um, so it seems like maybe this might be sort of a similar situation. So we can explore everything, which is great for me because I love to explore, but I also like to explore everything. So this, you what know, might get lengthy. I'm guessing the military bombed the shit out of this place. Why would they do that? Well, they would sometimes destroy parts of the city that were lost to the infected. Or to rebels. That seems like overkill. Well, it usually worked. On the infected or the rebels? Both. Shit. Believe me. You're lucky you didn't grow up in a QZ. I'm starting to get that impression. 
what would have happened if I'd stayed? I'd probably just become one more asshole soldier. No way. I can't see you taking orders from anybody. Yeah, good point. I gotta say, I was expecting the Seattle QZ to be a lot more occupied. Yeah, maybe they're all hiding at the Seravina. How many WLF you think there are anyway? Well, at least eight. <laughs> if we're lucky, that'll be it. We'll be fine. But we should stay alert, stock up while we can. I was afraid if I got off the horse too early, the conversation would end. What have you got there? Colin, heard another rumor uh, that the- hey. What is it? it? Says there are supplies at some bank. Might be worth checking out. I heard another rumor that the Westlake Bank has never been searched. If that's true, then it would be filled with more pre-outbreak supplies. I say we go for it. If there are enough weapons in there, I know some guys that we can trade with for safe passage out of this hellhole. Come on, man. I don't have the balls to go in there by myself, Aaron. Okay. Yeah. Let's head on over to the bank. Ellie, I think Shimmer's getting sick. What? How can you tell? She sounds a little hoarse. Oh, boy. Come on, that was a good one. Ellie loves a good pun. Come on. Come on. That was good. Uh, are we going in through this uh, hidey hole? Yeah, we're probably going in through this hidey hole. <laughs> Great! This doesn't look terrifying at all. Not at all. I guess we're full on brick. This isn't dangerous at all. Not at all. This isn't in danger of collapsing at any moment at all. This is cool. In like a holy shit, we might get crushed kind of way. Relax. It's probably been like this for years. It's not gonna collapse today. I think. Not a fan. They're wearing body armor. That's great. Okay, so there's at least two runners, at least one clicker. Oh man, I'm already terrified. all of them I feel like they used to be a lot faster in the well, first game we found the bank what's with the body armor they don't look like soldiers yeah not sure definitely 
definitely feel like they were faster in the last one. Or maybe I was just more panicky in the last one and, and they were scarier. I don't know. I, I can't really, I don't know. Elevator, good. We caved in stairs, great. Some benches. Let's see if there's anything back here. Oh, the vault, huh? What's in here? Oh ho ho! Change of guard every two hours during the day. Rob the bank. Oh shit! It's like that movie. Which one? The one with the surfer bank robbers. Surfer? Oh yeah, I love that movie. Surfer bank robbers? Isn't it weird that in this world, like dollars, like money, is not gonna do you any good at all? I'm kind of surprised that these, um boxes these these personal boxes weren't all broken into though probably have some valuable stuff in there mostly crap but probably some valuable stuff all right what did that say oh we could make another one we're just gonna do that then let's see bank heist plans vault 602306 Feel like it's not just a code. Here we go. I guess it is just a code. Really should be more than just a code. What? No, that's not right. What was it? Six sixty twenty three oh six. Got it. Sixty twenty three oh six. Sixty nice. Sixty twenty three oh six. Got it. Definitely feel like it should be more than just a regular old locker combination, but it's fine. Oh, there's a dead body in there. Is it gonna come to life and scare me? That's the question. Oh no, its brain is dead. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Thanks, dude. All right, a new weapon! Shotgun! Sweet! That is awesome. That is an awesome weapon. What do we have in here? Look at all this money. The bag's full. Yeah. <laughs> if we were back in the old world, whew, we'd be rich. Yeah, but if we were back in the old world, you wouldn't be in here. Cool. <gasps> is this what I think it is? Sick Parvis Magna. It's an Easter egg. How cool. This is a Nathan Drake Easter egg. Love. That's cool. I love that series. Man, Uncharted is so good. Oops, no, come back. I didn't read you yet. <laughs> they tried robbing the bank on outbreak day. Probably seemed smart at the time. I 
feel like maybe there was something in this one. No, there definitely wasn't. All right, let's read that one. Okay, bank robber letter. Fuck this, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Fucking Neil wrote me in. Said the police would be too busy chasing all those sick people running around. Said this place would be easy pickings. So of course those sick fuckers showed up and everything went to shit. Pulled one of them off Kyle and nearly lost my arm with all the fucking bites. And then my own guys lock me in here. The cops will get here soon. If I go down, then my friends go down with me. I'll tell the newspapers, tell everyone on TV that Kyle Peters, Leon Travis, and Neil Grant are motherfucking cowards. I feel really fucking weird right now. Sweating like a pig. Arms all red and black where I got bit. Can't keep my thoughts straight. Oh shit, is this how it happens? Am I turning into one of them? Fuck that. If I'm going out, I'll go out like a fucking man. So then he shoots himself with the shotgun. It's pretty grim. Okay, then, so outside this vaulty area is what? What do we have outside? Uh-oh. Another one. Runner, over there. Don't hear me. Just the one then? All right. I feel like there's more than just the one, but we'll go for this one. <laughs> Thanks for the backup, Dina. Yeah, there's another one. I think here. we're done with this place. Oh. Agreed. I would guess we're done with this place then. Okay. Nailed it. Moving on. Okay, we marked our map. That's good. Good to do. Always important. Map location complete! And we marked it off. That's nice. It's nice that they keep track for us. Take. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. I just want more stuff. Is that so much to ask? You know, can't people have left more of their stuff behind? Now, here's the person in me who just wants to explore every nook and cranny. I see this second floor and I'm like, ooh, how do I get up there? But then I remember the stairs are caved in and there's no way I'm taking an elevator. So really my only option is to leave the way that I came in, which I don't remember how I did that. Wait. I jumped down from something to get in here, didn't I? Ah, that. Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing I just leave the same way. Yeah, okay. Hey, if you lived in the old world... Yeah, okay. What would you buy with all that money? I don't know. Maybe a big farmhouse? But you can get a farmhouse now. Okay. What would you get? 
A space shuttle? No, oh, that's right. Your astronaut thing. Hey, it's cooler than a farmhouse. It is. A farmhouse is way more practical. Ooh. Who needs practical when you have that much money? Get on the horse. Where are that we going next? Oh, I got a shotgun out of it, so not complaining. All right, let's find that gas. Look at these beautiful purple flowers. What a great color. Oh, butterflies. Wow, I like it here. I could be in this little meadow forever. A campfire. <laughs> Hmm. Somebody was camping here. Looks recent. Think it was Tommy? Maybe. Well, whoever it was, they were drinking. Check out the tank. What do we have here in this knapsack? Kind of quite a few knapsacks around here. Roger, following up on our fight from last night, I hear your concerns and understand your reluctance. But listen, we've thinned Fedra's numbers. Many of their soldiers have joined our fight, and knowing they plan to sneak out through the tunnels, we have a rare opportunity to deal a final blow to Torres and his thugs. If we let them regroup, then how many of our men will die? Our own have to come first. You know that more than anybody. I'm glad you're asking these questions. They are questions leaders wrestle with every day. I'm proud of the growth you've made the soldier you've become, and the leader you'll be one day, Isaac. Isaac is mighty persuasive. He's mighty charismatic. So clearly, Roger was disagreeing with Isaac's methods, and Isaac was like, hmm, this needs a gentle, apologetic, rational touch. And he just drafted up this letter. I don't trust this Isaac guy. He seems like a psychopath. And you know what they say is that psychopaths are really charismatic. They're really good at making people do what they want them to do. Kind of sad. <gasps> okay, what is there to see about this tank? We're gonna, oh, are we okay? Get brained on it, that's fine. We have to be off the horse to talk about it? Is that, is that really, okay. Get off the horse, then. Oh, I see. It's not just talking about it. We're gonna open the hatch. I've never seen one of these in action. Okay. Yikes. These guys had a bad day. What is it? Take! Burnt skeletons. Oof. Not how I'd want to go out. Kind of like those astronauts. What are you talking about? One of the early moon missions, there was an electrical fire and the astronauts burned up in their capsule. Well, at least they died for something worthwhile. Exactly. These guys were just assholes killed by other assholes. Shimmer, why are you all the way over there? Wow. Book Festival 2013. What do you think that was like? A book festival. Let's take a look at our map here. Okay, so we looked at the bank. Now... It seems like there's a few buildings back of this away, but mm, I don't know if we can get in there. Is 
So then... Don't think we can see anything in there. What's in there? Okay. Fuel distribution. Aha! Uh -huh. we, we found something. We secured the shit out of this place. Boston always had food shortages. Hungry people get desperate. So which way do we go then? This way? That looks locked. Can you get through? All right, I got you. Ah, the good old tall grass sneak attacks. Got it. Watch it, what? Watch it. <gasps> I was in the tall grass. Was I going too fast? <laughs> Wow, she still looks like a whole person. I hate that. Oh. Oh, yuck. I think we dropped all of them. Yeah, looks that way. Okay. Well, what was the point of getting any- oh, climbing over that. Okay, well, first, maybe I am a little paranoid because I feel like I didn't fully check this area first. Well, there's no going back, so... I guess we're gonna figure this out. Short grass. Oh boy. There's so many of them. Should I just light them on fire? I have what I need? I do. Okay. See, they're not grouped up anymore. try it though. Maybe I'll just wait till they're grouped up a little bit more again. There were still people around. They would have cleared this place out. Maybe they didn't make it here. Yeah, maybe. Let's find that gas. All right. I mean, I'm not super mad about that. I think that went great, honestly. Nailed it. You know? Sometimes you just gotta be proud of yourself. Sometimes you just gotta be like, nailed it. Um, but we don't have any more Molotovs, so we have used that single one that we had. Great. Although... No, we don't have enough. All right, well, it's fine, it's fine. And we are low, low, low on bullets. What? Ellie. Oh, we have- we have no bullets. 
in this guy. Well, that's unfortunate. But we still have Joel's revolver, so that's something. Okay. A church? That's not a church. I mean, it's religious. <laughs> but it's, it's certainly not called a church. Do we just jump down? We do. Ugh. I can't tell. Is that wood creaking or is that a clicker? <laughs> Seems like it was wood. Okay. Hey, Ellie. That looks like is gas. This is a synagogue. Y yes. How can you tell? Uh, one, there are menorah decorations on the wall. It's a Jewish thing. And two, I didn't burst into flames just now, so. <laughs> burst into flames? It's just a dumb joke. Well, unlike your other ones. You shut it. I'm guessing that this she's- This place brings back a lot of memories. My sister used to drag me to a synagogue all the time. You never struck me as much of a believer. Nah. But I like coming from a long line of survivors. You mean after Outbreak Day? That. And the Inquisition. And the Holocaust. My family always made it out alive. Barely. I love that for her. I'm guessing the whole bursting into flames thing is a reference to if it was a church, like a, like a Catholic church, well, she's... You know, we don't know her defined sexuality, but she's with Ellie, so we can assume she's not straight. And in Catholicism, that's a huge sin, and the joke is that she'd burst into flames because God would burn her up or something. Um, okay. Is this gonna need power? Shit. Latch is on the other side. Of course it is. On the gas. Just need to get back there. Mm, it, it looks like a pretty wide gap at the bottom there, so maybe crawling? No, we're not gonna crawl. Maybe pushing? What is this? Ah, squeezing. Okay, well, it was gonna be one of those. Oh, take! Ah, look at all this stuff. Definitely been mostly, take, take, been mostly scavenged, but maybe there'll be a few little takes in here. Got a little bench there. Whoa, hello, where are you? There you are. Take, okay, cool. What else we got? What else interesting abounds here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, oh, take, 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 great, awesome, super stupendous, yep, flashlight, good. Hmm. Okay. Nice! Got some additional ammo there. Love, love, love that. <laughs> Ellie, that was a pretty aggressive grunt there. Wait. Oh. Well, I guess there were multiple ways to get in here then. That's fine. Okay, over we go. And let's fill this canister. Don't be empty. God damn it. Hey, language. Really, Dina? Also, it's empty. That sucks. Now what? 
I always call these things. I always know. How do I know all? How do I always know? <sighs> okay. Well then. The question is. Ah, oh, we're good. Okay, we can climb back over. It would have been really inconvenient if we had no way to get back up. I'm just saying. Hey, through here. <gasps> Do you still pray? Sometimes. Really? When? I said when we left Jackson. I said when at Joel's grave. Sometimes I just say little ones to myself. Does it help? I think it calms me. Helps me put things in perspective. It's a way to deal with grief. A way to show respect. It's what I know. Hmm. Now, how do we get out of here? Oh, we've made ourselves stuck, haven't we? This is very hard to drive. That's probably our way out, but I feel like I want to at least try getting up here. I don't know. There's no way, right? Yeah, there's no way. That's fine. All right. Well, we tried. We need this little intermediary here. This way, right behind me. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's, I kept seeing the scaffolding and being like, the, the scaffolding's gotta be related, right? Well, it is. We're gonna have to throw our rope here. Ooh, look at that, take. What do we have here? Private Miller, we've got fresh intel. There's an active WLF hideout on Spring and 5th. Grab any available soldiers in your sector and head to the hideout ASAP. Execute any suspects, secure the location, and await my re-rival, re Sergeant Ward. What do you think of this? Yeah, we're going to use that, but just let me explore, Dina. You're always rushing me. Berries. Pomegranates? Pomegranates. Are pomegranates a type of berry? There are some things I just don't know. Oh, this should open What's up a this? dialogue. Oh, this is the Torah. The what? Uh, it's, it's scripture. It's like a... like a Jewish Bible. Hmm. My sister would have flipped for this. The one we used in New Mexico was half burnt. All right. Well, at least I didn't just chuck everything. I feel like we should close it back up for safekeeping. This is gonna sound crazy, but because I just finished Life is Strange 2, where there was like a crazy religious cult, it's kind of nice to see like a religious character in video games that's good, you know? Where like her religion is like a part of her, but it's not like the defining feature, but it's also not villainous. It's just nice to see a little variety, I guess I'm saying. Because religion has the capability to do a lot of good in the world too. And I feel like in video games, it's kind of less explored, that topic. 
Bet I can get to the other balcony with this. Oh, we're swinging now. Ellie, careful. Oh, we're it's swinging. Okay. okay. It's holding. Uh, is this uncharted? Is this uncharted? Nothing to it. Whee! That was a very Money long jump for you. Right. That is an old picture. It's kind of crazy that, and it happens again and again and again over the course of history. Every time there's a major, you know, civilization ending or civiliz civilization shifting event, like a natural disaster or like a major war or like an apocalyptic event, things like old pictures are not valued because they don't save your life. History is for people who have free time. Like nostalgia and looking back with a with a positive glean, that's something that you only do when you feel comfortable in your survival. Over and over and over again in wars, we see the major, major loss of historical artifacts. And there's a reason for that. And art as well. It's one of the great tragedies of major wars. Lieutenant Torres, 70 years ago, my grandfather fled Germany with his family as World War II began. He escaped thanks to the kindness and bravery of a Polish family. And so the wheel turns and the cycle continues. Tonight, my family has packed our belongings and due to your kindness, we will be leaving this city, escorted by your brave men. Thank you for helping me persevere what we could of our, oh sorry, thank you for helping me preserve what we could of our shoal. It's difficult to leave our home behind, but in the end, it is people, living people, that matter. You bear a heavy burden on your shoulders and I hope our late night talks were of some comfort to you. If I can leave you with one thought, for every turn away from a better world, there is often a stronger correction towards it. Do not lose hope for the future. As the old saying goes, it takes but one candle to dispel the darkness. May God watch over you always. Rabbi, I don't know how this is pronounced, so forgive me, Ziva Saunders. That's an interesting letter. I hope you got where you were going. Because we know that this world has not yet taken a turn for the better. It did get worse. It has gotten worse. It hasn't yet returned to goodness. 5774? Are we in the future? No, doofus, that's a Hebrew calendar. <laughs> for the new year? My sister used to give me an apple dipped in honey. Ugh, now I'm craving it. Oof, that does sound pretty good. Jewish holidays are all about food and celebrating not getting annihilated by our enemies. A long line of survivors. Exactly. That's true. What did we get added here? Journal entry. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm ready to read this journal entry. When I think about Joel, scratch, him, all I see is open skin, slack jaw, insides out. I won't let her remember me that way. I'd rather die alone. Did she die alone? Scratch. Was her God with her? Scratch. Was he with you in the end? Was he with Joel? Did I make it worse for Joel being there? Or was I company? He slash him scratch more than I was with him? 
more than I was with him. Beyond faith and pain, I want faith from pain, scratch. I want faith through pain. I can't imagine the guilt that Ellie must be feeling to write something like, did I make it worse for Joel? That she's thinking about him and his experience in his final moments at the same time as dealing with her own. That she has to, or for better or worse, she does process for him in her own act of processing for herself. She's taking on the burden of processing that event for him because he can't anymore. And that's some complex stuff, basically. There, there aren't enough words in the English language to describe how complicated those feelings are. Very okay. high up. Across the dome off the list. Let's go find the courthouse. It might be worth grabbing some supplies before we press on. What does that mean? Are we not currently supplied? Okay, so this is the area that I didn't feel like I fully explored before we snuck through, but there's really nothing here, so that's good. So we didn't yet see what's up here. Take? What is this? A bomb? Rad. A stun bomb? Oh, goodness knows Brianna is not good enough to use that. I had just figured out Molotovs like five minutes ago. Ugh. Nothing, huh? Yeah, move, Dina. Get out of my way. Get out of here. I'm jumping down, Dina, please. Please move. Thank you. Very tall place to jump from. Okay, hey, Shimmer. Hey, girl. Oh, hello? Why show me that? Because it's the dome building and that would be the front entrance? Okay. Yeah, alright. I'll get it. Okay, no gas. So then... At the F. Fedra gate, that's where we cut across the freeway and then kind of went down to the bank and then came up and around. So this ish direction is gonna get us to the next gas area, but I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better because there's this area on 8th Ave that's like WLF question mark. I'm wondering if we should explore that before going to find 
the gas area. But if we have to go back to the F Fedra gate anyway for the gas, maybe we'll just make a whole big circle. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do a whole big circle. Who knows? It's peaceful out here at least. It's weird being in a QZ and not hearing trucks. Or gunfire and explosions. My sister always avoided QZs. That's probably why. Gina she just got more and more paranoid. Talks about her sister She'd quite a lot. She'd sometimes wake up screaming in the middle of the night. That's rough. We always had a backpack so we could bail if something happened. Never stayed in one place for more than a few weeks. It sucked. It's nice to have a place we call home, right? Yeah. When I first got to Jackson, I was so overwhelmed by all the people. I was overwhelmed by all the food. I remember my first week just gorging myself. Stuffing food in all my pockets for later like it was gonna run out. I saw that. You did not. I did. I remember thinking, who is this string bean girl stealing all the jerky? <sighs> I didn't steal that much jerky. Question mark? All right. How are we gonna make any use of this? Ah, there's bricks. No, don't shoot! Brick time. And make sure you always restock your brick. <gasps> Ellie. Why did you do that? Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Come on. You gotta do better than that, girl. This is an apocalypse. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll get there one day. Slowly but surely. That's my middle name. Interesting, okay, there's the F Fedra gate. There's this whole area in the middle here we haven't explored. Are we even gonna be able to reach the fire truck area? I don't know. TBD, honestly. Mm-hmm, okay. All right. There we go, we made Careful. it. Made it. Take for sure. Oh, look at all these goodies. Hello. Hello. Okay, it's creepy now. <sighs> look at this. Dr. Uckman. You might for short even call him Druckman. And does he not look suspiciously like the game's creator? So now I wonder if all of the cards are based on developers. It makes me curious. 100 points brains, 60 points brawn, affiliation the new dogs. One might say the naughty dogs. Once a well-respected researcher, Dr. Uckman's questionable experiments in the realm of per pushing human limits, human emotional limits maybe, saw him ostracized from the scientific community. Even the morality compromised Laurent Foucault of Spark Laboratories found his work dubious. Undeterred, Uckman continued his work in secret, creating super AI to do his bidding and protect his research while he and the new dog stage high-tech heists to fund it all. Constantly moving his lab location so no one can find him, he longs for the day where his subjects will be treated as equals. Mostly villain. Take. What else we got in here? 
nothing else, okay? What do we got in this one then? Show me... Okay, I'll take supplements. Okay, I think that's everything here. Check it off the list. What if I just jump down? Does Ellie die from fall damage? Does fall damage exist in this game? It hasn't yet. What? What's that shimmer? Oh, you don't say. Oh, no. Ellie, Shimmer says we should find a bakery. Why? So she can go buy some thoroughbred. Hey, Valiant Music Shop. Should we check for supplies? I guess we should, since you're telling me to. Ah, good. We're just gently making our way around this circle here. Man, imagine this place when everything was intact. You could just goof off, play some instruments. I bet we could scrounge enough stuff to start a band. <laughs> you don't know how to play anything. I mean, I could definitely figure it out. Could you, though? Could you? Yeah, you, I figured you were definitely on the other side of the cabinet. It did look weird. Another card. We're good at this. Take. What do we have here? Das Wart? Man, if that's someone's... If that's a developer's name... Yo. I don't know if that's a great name, Das Wart. I apologize. 80 points brains, 80 points brawn, though. Affiliation also part of the new dogs. So now, because they're also the new dogs, I feel like it is a dev, and that's really their name. I, I hope it's not. Real name unknown. Okay, maybe that's not their real name. I don't know. This tall, laconic, la laconic presence seems unassuming enough. Bullied and misunderstood early in life due to his inability to speak above the level of a mumble, he was forever changed when ancient cosmic beings bestowed upon him the word. A mystical phrase that when spoken or even muttered will drive everyone in earshot insane. Thankfully, his considerable height often gives him away and allows his potential victims plenty of time to run. Or plug their ears. Neutral villain. Okay. I feel like that could be a person. Check this out. Oh, Dina. Oh, wow. That was... That was an interesting beat. Excuse me. I am a natural. Admit it. I love you. Whatever. We're starting a band. How about you be my groupie? Your what? Well, okay. Fans apparently had these hardcore fans that would just follow them around. Isn't that what I'm already doing? Uh, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so call me crazy, but I'm very much into like this Dina and Ellie romance and we did not get a scene of Ellie telling Dina, I love you for the first time. But she said it there. And I'm like, I feel like I missed out on something. If you haven't yet said I love you to someone, you don't jokingly say it. Like halfway I feel I don't know maybe that's just me maybe this is like non-apocalypse relationship rules I don't know I don't know I just want to see every moment of their cuteness okay don't rob me of it
Up the stairs we go. I definitely feel like these stairs could collapse at any time. We're going up anyway. Now, as not a music person myself, I haven't been looking at like the posters and stuff. Pearl Jam, I know that's a band. Uh, that is some Greek statue. I'm sure, got a bunch of I don't know. Here. The sleek habit. The sick habit. Close enough. Uh, okay, we only listened to it like a hundred times together. I was only listening to it because I thought you were cute. I just don't know any of these bands. Take? What is this? What? Brick? What? That'll work. I didn't want to have to go find a bottle, so I figured I would try that. I mean, why bother doing the same thing for this? You know, like there's drums and stuff. Just... You can't hit the drums. Just for the record. You can't... You can't bang on the drums. <laughs> so I'd let you all know that. You can't. Can, I wish I could, like, move this and get inside that door, but it's not, like, becoming a thing. Is this glass? <laughs> Seems like maybe it's not glass. Okay. Well then. What are you? A bottle? I prefer a brick, but I'll take it anyway. Uh-oh. Is Ellie about to get emotional? Look at that. Acoustic. Paneling. Does this glass break? See, <laughs> now I'm paranoid thinking that every glass will break. Sounds familiar and looks familiar. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> hmm. Well, nothing sure sounds nice. Play the whole thing, Ellie. You know that night by the bonfire? Yeah.
You should have kissed me then. I wanted to. Me too. All right. We should keep moving. Yeah. There is something so incredibly intimate about watching someone play an instrument. Like, especially, like, softly and acoustic like that. Like, you could really see in the emotions that they both had. You could just see it in their eyes. You could feel it that they really deeply care for each other. And there's something so, like, no words were spoken, but they showed a part of themselves in that moment. And they connected together. And what's really beautiful about this is that we get to see it. We get to see this moment, but we also get to learn their first moment of connection together. The first moment that, maybe not the first, but one of the early moments before they actually got together where they realized they had a connection. And that's cute too. It's a really cute moment. Practice? Why? Just because you can? Oh, that's kind of a cute feature. Just for anybody who can actually play guitar to like learn to play Ellie's or can you actually play anything on this? No way. People, people don't play songs on this, do they? Are there like videos of people doing this? No. Like you'd have to like swipe through so quickly. Wow, that would be crazy. All right, now I'm gonna have to go look it up, obviously. That's crazy. That's too hard. Right there is where we actually have to end today's video. I'm so sorry we had to end it there. I know this game just keeps on giving, whether it's emotional moments or gory, terrible moments or frightening moments. And then some occasionally bittersweet moments. You know, I'm not going to call it even. It's not exactly an even 
layout, but this game just keeps on surprising me, and I hope that you are waiting in excitement to see the next video because I know I'm waiting in excitement to play it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite part was. I'm going to be tracking those comments to see what people's favorite moments were because I'd love to do a best moments video and uh, re-watching all of my videos is enjoyable, but it does take a lot of time. So save me the time and tell me what your favorite part was. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this channel, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. That's all, I love you all, bye.